Hello traders, hello everyone, thanks for watching this video analysis. Today I will talk about the Australian dollar versus the Canadian dollar, about uh, a new potential uh, downside movement, new potential selling opportunity. Here is the disclaimer, of course, please consult it, please read it, it's important for you to understand the risks. And you can email support if you have questions, more questions. Yeah. And uh, of course, if you are not already a VIP member, if you want to join us to get all our trades, trade management and all our VIP content, you can access the link posted right below this video and you can um, you can join our VIP group. OK, and don't forget to, um, to subscribe to our YouTube channel, to like this video, to comment right below it, to share it and uh, to follow us on Instagram. So uh, let's take a look here on the Australian dollar, Canadian dollar, something like this person. I have one, two and three, a descending pitchfork. And uh, this descending pitchfork was confirmed here by um, by this retest and the false breakout with great separation drop. Here in the short term, yeah, it has uh, failed to, to stay to stabilize below the medium line, signaling that maybe the sellers are exhausted. And right now, strong rebound, leg higher, swing higher. You can see that uh, the price um, has, um, has rebounded within an ascending uh, channel here. But uh, this channel could represent a bearish pattern. OK, so right now, you can see here that only a false breakout with great separation above the channel's upside line, also above the upper medium line, and uh, here it has uh, it has escaped from this uh, from this channel from this up channel. Yeah, false breakdown, rebound, retest of uh, these former um, former lows here. You can see that we have a resistance zone here. Yeah, and uh, right now breakdown. It has tried maybe to come back to test retest um, the broken uptrend line, but it has failed. That's why personally I have a minor downtrend line here. Maybe something like a, like a triangle here. 0 0.9060 stands as, as support here. And uh, in my opinion, a valid breakdown below this level, maybe a new lower low here could open the door for a, for a downside movement. But in the short term, we cannot exclude maybe temporary uh, rebounds here, test, retest. Personally, actually, I would like to see something like this. Yeah, for the price to, um, to come back to test, to retest, yeah, to move maybe sideways here um, in the short term. To test, to retest the upper medium line of the descending pitchfork, this resistance uh, zone here. Yeah, before making a new lower low, before activating a downside movement here on the Australian dollar, Canadian dollar. So this is this is my opinion here. This is my analysis here in uh, Australian dollar versus the, um, the Canadian dollar. And uh, personally, I will uh, share my trade with the VIP members. Yeah. Uh, also, it's it's very important maybe for the price to come back, maybe to test, retest all this because here we have something like uh, maybe support zone or something. You can see these former highs here. But in my opinion, um, a new false breakout, a pin bar, a bearish engulfing or any other bearish pattern here could also um, signal that maybe the price will escape maybe from this uh, temporary and potential range here here very breakdown and then sell off okay so this up channel could represent a bearish pattern a selling pattern but we still need confirmation i'm still waiting for confirmation actually before i will uh, take action here on this uh, on this market guys okay because uh, i don't want to go short right now as long as uh, the price stays above this uh, near term support the level yeah former low here okay in the short term it could uh, test retest maybe the weekly pivot point staying below it a new lower low could um, signal potential drop here in the short term but uh yeah um I'm waiting for confirmation because uh, anything could happen in the short term. Yeah, right. Let's take a look also on the economic calendar. Don't forget that uh, on Wednesday we'll have yeah, the Canadian inflation data as high impact um, indicators, the consumer price index, core CPI. And uh, also on Thursday we'll have um, here the Australian uh, employment change and employment rate, guys. Okay. So uh, don't forget about these high impact events because uh, um, the economic um, data could bring high volatility, sharp movements. And uh, yeah, you need to know um, you need to know what's moving the markets. OK, the market, maybe this uh, currency pair. OK, thank you, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to, um, to like it, to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you, guys.